Aziz Ostad Bediyazaman Sed Nursi Ottoman Turkish, Sid Nursi Sirani Kurdish, Sid Nursi 1877–23 March 1960, also spelled Sed i Nursi, officially Sed Okor and commonly known with the honorific Bediyazaman, Bidi Alzman Badi al -Zaman, meaning, Wonder of the Age, or simply Ostad, Master, was a Kurdish Sunni Muslim theologian. He wrote the Risale i Nur collection, a body of Quranic commentary exceeding 6,000 pages. Believing that modern science and logic was the way of the future, he advocated teaching religious sciences in secular schools and modern sciences in religious schools. Nursi inspired a religious movement that has played a vital role in the revival of Islam in Turkey and now numbers several millions of followers worldwide. His followers, often known as the Nurku movement or the Nur Semati, often call him by the venerating mononymic Ostad, the teacher. Nursi displayed an unusual ability to learn from an early age, completing the normal course of madrasa religious school education at the early age of 14, when he obtained his diploma. He became famous for both his prodigious memory and his unbeaten record in debating with other religious scholars. Another characteristic Nursi displayed from an early age was a dissatisfaction with the existing education system, which when older he formulated into comprehensive proposals for its reform. He was able to recite many books from memory. For instance, So then he decided to test his memory and handed him a copy of the work by Al-Hariri of Basra 1054-1122, also famous for his intelligence and power of memory, called Makamat al Hariri. Said read one page once, memorized it, then repeated it by heart. Mola Fethola expressed his amazement. <laughs> Early life Said Nursi was born in Nurs, a Turkish village in the Bitlis Vilayet province of the Ottoman Empire, in eastern Anatolia. He received his early education from scholars of his hometown, where he showed mastery in theological debates. After developing a reputation for Islamic knowledge, he was nicknamed Bediyazaman, meaning the most unique and superior person of the time. He was invited by the governor of the Vilayet of Van to stay within his residency. In the governor's library, Nursi gained access to an archive of scientific knowledge he had not had access to previously. Said Nursi also learned the Ottoman Turkish language there. During this time, he developed a plan for university education for the eastern provinces of the Ottoman Empire. By combining scientific and religious Islamic education, the university was expected to advance the philosophical thoughts of these regions. However, he was put on trial in 1909 for his apparent involvement in the Ottoman countercoup of 1909 against the liberal reform movement named the Committee of Union and Progress, but he was acquitted and released. He was active during the late Ottoman Caliphate as an educational reformer and advocate of the unity of the peoples of the Caliphate. He proposed educational reforms to the Ottoman Sultan Abdul Hamid aiming to put the traditional madrasa seminary training, Sufism tasawuf, and the modern sciences in dialogue with each other. During World War I, Nursi was a member of the Ottoman Empire's special organization. In January 1916 he was captured by Russian forces and taken to Russia as a prisoner of war, where he spent over two years. He escaped in the spring of 1918 and made his way to Constantinople. His return was welcomed and he was chosen to be a member of Dar al-Hikmat al-Islami, an Islamic academy seeking solution for growing problems of Umanursi was a worrying enough influence for the incipient leader of the Turkish Republic, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, to deem it necessary to seek to control him by offering him the position of Minister of Religious Affairs for the Eastern Provinces of Turkey, a post that Nursi famously refused. This was the beginning of his split from the Kemalist circle. Conversely, the secular government in the Republic of Turkey would later stigmatize his attempts to renew traditional faith. Modernization of intellectual culture in Anatolia thusly bifurcated along two approaches, assimilation of Occidental understanding, and functionalization of extant liturgics. Nursi was the major contributor to the latter approach, and his early life as a memorization savant enabled him to use scripture for teaching with mnemonic metaphor. Friction between the two spheres of thought led to breakdowns of civility and the eventual reclusion of Nursi. After arriving in Istanbul, said Nursi declared, 
I shall prove and demonstrate to the world that the Quran is an undying, inexhaustible sun by updating it to meet modern life requirements." Setting out to write his comprehensive Rasail i Nur, a collection of said Nursi's own commentaries and interpretations of the Quran and Islam, as well as writings about his own life. Topic. Distribution of works and movement Said Nursi was exiled to the Isparta province for, amongst other things, performing the call to prayer in the Arabic language. After his teachings attracted people in the area, the governor of Isparta sent him to a village named Barla where he wrote two-thirds of his Rasail i Nur. These manuscripts were sent to Save, another village in the region, where people duplicated them in Arabic script which was officially replaced by the modern Turkish alphabet in 1928. After being finished, these books were sent to Nursi's disciples all over Turkey via the Nurku postal system. Nursi repeatedly stated that all the persecutions and hardships inflicted on him by the secularist regime were God's blessings and that having destroyed the formal religious establishment, they had unwittingly left popular Islam as the only authentic faith of the Turks. Besides these writings themselves, a major factor in the success of the movement may be attributed to the very method Nursi had chosen, which may be summarized with two phrases, Manevi Jihad, that is, Jihad of the Word or non-physical jihad, and positive action. Nursi considered materialism and atheism and their source materialist philosophy to be his true enemies in this age of science, reason, and civilization. He combated them with reasoned proofs in the Rasail i Nur, considering the Rasail i Nur as the most effective barrier against the corruption of society caused by these enemies. In order to be able to pursue this jihad of the word, Nursi insisted that his students avoided any use of force and disruptive action. Through positive action, and the maintenance of public order and security, the supposed damage caused by the forces of unbelief could be repaired by the healing truths of the Quran. Said Nursi lived much of his life in prison and in exile, persecuted by the secularist state for having invested in religious revival. Topic. Later life Alarmed by the growing popularity of Nursi's teachings, which had spread even among the intellectuals and the military officers, the government arrested him for allegedly violating laws mandating secularism and sent him to exile. He was acquitted of all these charges in 1956. In the last decade of his life, said Nursi settled in the city of Isparta. After the introduction of the multi-party system, he advised his followers to vote for the Democratic Party of Adnan Menderes, which had restored some religious freedom. Said Nursi was a staunch anti-communist, denouncing communism as the greatest danger of the time. In 1956, he was allowed to have his writings printed. His books are collected under the name Rasail i Nur, Letters of Divine Light. He died of exhaustion after traveling to Urfa. He was buried in a tomb which according to some Muslims is the shrine of Prophet Ibrahim Abraham. After the military coup d'état in Turkey in 1960, a group of soldiers led by the later right-wing politician Alparslan Turks opened his grave and buried him at an unknown place near Isparta during July 1960 in order to prevent popular veneration. His followers are reported to have found his grave after years of searching in the area, and took his remains to a secret place in an effort to protect his body from further disturbance. Topic. See also. Free Man film. God's Faithful Servant, Barla Muhammad Eminur one of said Nursi's students Topic. References Topic. Sources Camilla T. Nereid in the Light of Said Nursi, Turkish Nationalism and the Religious Alternative. Center for Middle Eastern and Islamic Studies, University of Bergen. ISBN 978-1-85065-309-7. Sahiner, Nijmedin, Son Sahitler III, Nessel Yayanlari, 2004. Sukran the 16th of February 2012. Islam in Modern Turkey, An Intellectual Biography of Bediyazm and Said Nursi. Sunni Press. ISBN 978-0-7914-8297-1. Ian S. Markham, Swaindom Barinci, Swaindom Barinci Purim 2011. 
An Introduction to Said Nursi, Life, Thought and Writings. Ashgate Publishing, Ltd. ISBN 978-1-4094-0770-6. Further reading Angel Rabasa, F. Stephen Larrabee the, 17th of June 2008. the Rise of Political Islam in Turkey. Rand Corporation. ISBN 978-0-8330-4531-7. Ibrahim M. Abu Rabi the 9th of April 2003. Islam at the Crossroads, on the Life and Thought of Bediyazim and Said Nursi. Sunni Press. ISBN 978-0-7914-5700-9. Ibrahim M. Abu Rabi the 24th of July 2008. Spiritual Dimensions of Bediyazim and Said Nursi's Rasail i Nur, The Supreme Court of Israel and the Occupied Territories. Sunni Press. ISBN 978-0-7914-7815-8. Fred A. Reed the 1st of January 1999. Anatolia Junction, A Journey into Hidden Turkey. Talonbooks, Ltd. ISBN 978-0-88922-426-1. Thomas F. Michel 2003. Reflections on Said Nursi's Views on Muslim Christian Understanding. Sos Basim Yayan. ISBN 978-975-6438-02-2. Thomas F. Michel 2013. Insights from the Rasail i Nur, Said Nursi's Advice for Modern Believers Clifton, New Jersey, Tura Books ISBN 978-1597846783. Seraph Martin 1989. Religion and Social Change in Modern Turkey, The Case of Bediyazim and Said Nursi. Sunni Press. ISBN 978-0-88706-996-3. Ibrahim Kalin, Oxford University Press the 1st of May 2010. Islam in Turkey, Oxford Bibliographies Online Research Guide. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-980651-5. Mustafa Gokhan Sahin, Said Nursi and the Nur Movement in Turkey, An Atomistic Approach 1. Colin Turner, Hassan Horkuk June 2009. Said Nursi, Makers of Islamic Civilization. I. B. Tories. ISBN 978-1-84511-774-0. Topic. External links Media related to Muslim scholars of Islam at Wikimedia Commons Bediyazim and Said Nursi Saidner.com A comprehensive page about Said Nursi and Rasail i Nur collection in many languages Sufa Vakfi Said Nursi based organization Rasail i Nur Two, a web page including Rasail i Nur collection in various languages. Three, a web page including Rasail i Nur collection in English. Nurses studies academic researches on said Nursi. Four, a letter about ban of Rasail i Nur collection to President of Russia Medvedev.